Hello, my friends. Welcome to Nurturing Faith. I'm here in our cloister garden on our church campus, right outside the choir room. And some of you may recognize where I am. And I'm here because our story today comes from the gospel, according to John, chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. And in this particular scripture, Jesus is talking about himself as being the true vine. He goes, I am the true vine. And if Jesus used stories to talk about what it means to be loved by God and to be able to share that love with others. So last week I talked about Jesus as being the good shepherd. And because we don't see shepherds tending sheep where we live, I compared being a good shepherd to being a gardener. And so Jesus, in these stories that we've had since Easter, is making appearances to the disciples and his followers. And then the disciples and the followers of Jesus, that's you and me, are telling these stories to each other, sharing how believing in Jesus, wanting to follow his teachings, helps us. And so that's where we find ourselves this week. The followers of Jesus, after his death, we're talking to one another and encouraging one another to remember the stories, to remember the things that Jesus did, how he helped people, how he cared about every single person, how he really cared about children and how his face and his eyes would just light up when the children came to him and they would sit on his knee and he would just listen and talk. So I want you to remember some words. I'm gonna talk about a lot of words in this time. When you read the text that comes out of our Bible book, you'll read different translations. And that means they will translate the words that were originally written in a language that, was, that, that we know as Greek. And so they translated these words to English. And we do it in several different ways. There's the common English version. There's the new revised standard version, which our church uses most of the time. And then there's another version that's called uh, the contemporary English version. So it tries to make this language understandable for you and for me. And there's one word that I want you to read this text with your mommies and daddies or another adult or your big brothers or big sisters, but please read it, John 15, 1 to 8. And there's this word, abide. Now, in the common English version, it talks about remaining, staying, abide, be here with me, stay with me, remain with me. And in the contemporary English version, they actually use this word, stay joined to me. Stay joined to me when they're talking about the vine and the branches. Jesus said that he he himself is the true vine. So he's like this vine here that is going up into this tree and you see these lovely flowers on it, purple, and it has branches. But what keeps it strong is that it, the branches that branch off are connected to a main branch that is sturdy and strong and that can entwine itself into other branches or into other, in this instance, into another tree, and that makes it stronger. And so what Jesus is saying by saying that he is the true vine, 
that he helps make us strong so that we remember these stories. And because this vine wraps around, it's holding on. So when the wind blows or when people try to pull you, the vine away from its source, it's hard to do. Jesus is the true vine. He's sturdy, he's strong, he's wrapped around us and he's not going to let go because Jesus loves us. And he wants you to feel that love and to know that that love he is able to share with us comes from God. I know I'm asking you to remember a lot this week, but I, I know you can do it. And I know with your mommy's and daddy's help, with your aunt and uncle, grandma, grandpa, that adult in your life, that big brother, big sister, can help you understand what it means to be, I'm gonna share three more words, phrases, let's call them phrases. And the first is beloved, meaning that you're very special. And that's what Jesus thinks of us as beloved. And it says, be loved, allow, people to care for you and for you to care for other people. And it's be love. That is you caring for other people. You're beloved because you're special. Your parents love you. Your friends love you. But most of all, God and Jesus love you. And to know that you are loved and allow yourself to feel that love. So be loved. And in the end, be the love that shares with everyone, that cares for everyone, that shows how much, how much we are all, each one loved by God and beloved by God. Jesus, my friends, is the true vine. The one that's going to wrap around you, has already wrapped around you, and is holding you tight, no matter where you are or what you do. Go in peace, my young friends, knowing that you are love and that you can share God's love. Amen.